Hi, my name is Dr. Ravji and today I'll be demonstrating how to take blood cultures from a butterfly collection set. It's important to always remember to take blood cultures from a peripheral vein wherever possible, even if there's other forms of access already in place, such as an existing peripheral cannula or a central or femoral line. It's important that the site that we take the blood cultures from is kept clean, healthy and is not broken and that an aseptic non-touch technique is used. The first step is to wash our hands. It's important that we use the seven step hand washing technique and that we use this technique every time we decontaminate our hands in the hospital setting. Next, we can prepare our kit. You will need a sharp spin, a trolley, a tray and your blood culture kit. This consists of two bottles, a butterfly needle, a blood collection adapter cup, a 2% chlorohexidine alcohol applicator and a 2% chlorohexidine wipe. It's important to check the expiry date on your blood culture bottles and this can be found on the side of the labels. The next step is to take the top off our blood cultures bottles off. and wipe them using the 2% chlorohexidine wipe. Whilst these are left to dry, we can now decontaminate our hands again and put some gloves and apron on. So Ralph will be acting as our patient. He has already kindly agreed and consented to have his blood cultures taken today. We can apply our tourniquet and try and identify a vein. Once a suitable vein has been identified, we can clean this area using the chlorohexidine applicator. It's important when we're doing this that we use up and down and back and forth strokes and we do this for 30 seconds. Whilst the skin dries, it's important that we set up our butterfly set with our adapter cap. We are now ready to collect our blood cultures. So Ralph, if you just move your arm towards me slightly. Once a flashback is seen, we can collect our blood cultures. It's important to start off with the aerobic, the blue top bottle first. We should fill our bottles up between 8 to 10 mils and we are guided by this by the labels on the bottles. We should repeat the same process with the anaerobic, the purple top bottle. Once the blood cultures have been collected, this is the appropriate time to collect investi blood other investigations uh, such as a lactate which is part of the sepsis 6 bundle. Once all the blood has been collected, it's important that we release the tourniquet, apply some gauze and remove the butterfly needle. Once it's been removed, it's important that we discard this into the sharp spin with the adapter cap. We can now remove our gloves and apron and wash our hands. Once you have taken the blood cultures, please remember to label them at the patient's bedside, not covering the barcode. Give full clinical details on the microbiology form, including any potential working diagnosis, why the blood cultures are being taken, whether the patient may be on any antibiotics and if there's been any recent travel history. It may also be appropriate to complete a sepsis 6 bundle form as the patient may have been admitted or may have sepsis. Once this is done, it's important that we also document in the patient's notes that blood cultures were taken, the date and time that they were taken and whom they were taken by.